Hello, everybody. So as you can see, I've gotten a considerable amount of work done on my 8x8x8 LED cube and have a few uh, patterns programmed in there. Um, still have a little ways to go uh, as far as both the programming and um, the hardware. I mean, I've got the circuitry pretty much uh, the wiring all complete here, but it's all laid out here on breadboards. So I still have to take all this wiring and get it put, put onto more permanent uh, boards like perf board or something and uh, get it put under the base there. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to expand that base a little bit so I can fit all the circuitry in. So a little work uh, still left to do there. Um, I did run into quite a few hurdles that a lot of guys that build these cubes run into. It's the same kind of thing. Uh, ghosting was one of the big things. Uh, had a lot of problem with uh, this issue with LEDs that we don't want lighting up, uh, still kind of lighting lighting up dimly. Uh, I found in my case the big culprit was uh, these MOSFETs. I was trying to use these MOSFETs for the cathode layers to uh, to basically turn the layers on and off. And uh, for some reason the MOSFETs just didn't seem to uh, open the circuit completely. There's still some current running through when I didn't want them to. So as soon as I replaced it with these 2N2222 transistors, uh, that seemed to take care of that problem. So that was great. Um, another thing was uh, with the shift registers. Uh, I was trying to load these shift registers at the same time while that layer was on that I was loading the shift registers for. And um, the idea is you want to keep the layer turned off while you're loading the shift registers and then flash the layer on after it's done. So um, beyond that, uh, once I took care of that, uh, it did take care of pretty much all the ghosting. So I, I have virtually no ghosting anymore. Um, so anyway, I do have a ways to go still, but uh, did make a lot of progress probably be able to complete this thing in about another two or three weeks and um, hopefully have something a little more uh, complete and elaborate to show you. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy this little end of this video here.